Hi, thanks for tuning in. I want to show you right now a little tip for climbing stairs or hiking, anything where you're stepping up onto something. That's why I have a little box here. You can try this. If you have a box, wonderful, but you can try really stepping up a flight of stairs. Um, and most of us um, do, so we step our foot up and then we sort of lean forward a little bit, which actually makes our hip flexors here tight. So as we step up, we're using this muscle group here and the thigh muscle to step up, okay? So I'm, you know, leaning forward a little bit because, yeah, this is where I'm headed, so I lean forward. Um, and then you might notice, I'm exaggerating so you can see it, that you're maybe arching your back a tiny little bit as you come up. If, if you feel that you're arching your back, that's even a bigger sign that you're using your hip flexors, right? So you're pressing up, you lean forward, you sort of stick your butt out a little bit, your back arches, and you come up. All right, that can create some knee problems, back problems, hip problems, okay? So if, if climbing stairs is ever a problem for you, this is what you should try instead. Um, instead of using the front of the hip, I want you to use your butt, okay? And to get there, when you place the foot up, make sure that you're, that you're pressing into your heel more than into the ball of the foot. If you have the weight on the ball of the foot mostly, you'll have to lean forward more, which makes this front of the hip here tight. So if you keep the weight back on your heel, um, your body stays back a little bit more. And then as you press up, just try and keep your body weight back and find your butt and press with the heel into the floor and try to use that glute to come up. Okay, other side. I'm pressing my heel into the floor. I notice how my, my torso stays back a little bit more. My back is long, so it's not starting to arch like that. And I'm pressing up and back down. And I do notice I have a little weakness. So as I come up, it, my hip kind of pushes out to the side a little bit, okay? Uh, that's something I'm gonna have to work on to correct. So I wanna be able to keep the hip nice and still as I'm coming up. Like my, my, my knee is falling in and my, my butt is going out a little bit. That's just the weakness here that I'm gonna work on. So I'm gonna do fewer repetitions with more focus, making sure really that as I'm stepping up, my knee stays a little bit out there. Well, it just stays where it is to begin with. Whoa, sort of wobbly today, right? So try it out. Step up, flight of stairs, each time you take a step, press with the heel down into the glute. Well, actually, that brings me to one more thing. You might not, be, you might not have enough space for your heel on the step, right? Your steps are probably not this steep. So you're going to be here, right? Your heel is not touching anything. That's okay. I understand. You can still think of lowering the heel down. You're going to press through the ball of the foot. That's fine. But you can still find your butt working as you press up and then back up, okay? Should there be a problem with it, just let me know um, in the comments or send me a message or something like that. I can clarify a little bit more, okay? Hope that works out for you. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you'd like to see more cool information, head over to PlatesEncyclopedia.com. I'll see you next time.